Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I'm very pleased to be on the Korean Smart Innovator Pavilion. And uh, I'm going to talk to two of the uh, smart innovators, the SMEs that are uh, here on the uh, pavilion. Uh, I'm going to start off with uh, Miss Helen Lee, who is a director for Marvis. Helen, uh, thank you very much for agreeing to be interviewed. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you too. Now, just tell us a little bit about your project. You, you're involving uh, VR and alternative reality, AR as well, basically. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about your project. Yeah, okay. So Marvelous is an ad tech startup developing VR and AR educational content for children. So we are established in 2015, and then we are now kind of three-year-old, very new startup in the education part. And so for the educational content, we make English learning program and job training and some coding escape room gameplay, that kind of things we make. And cur currently we are also develop uh, providing our contents to elementary school and, prime uh, and secondary schools and learning centers. So tell us a little bit about the content itself. Mm -hmm. For example, English learning program, we apply voice recognition technology to our content. So actually children can get some feedback when they are speak in English. So like for example, some foreigners will come to you in the VR environment and ask something like, what is your name or how, how what do you do, that kind of things. Then I have to answer in English, like I'm a student, that kind of things. And then some variable feedbacks or uh, you can get from your uh, depending on your answers yeah. and uh, so they're using a, a headset such as this and uh, and a, a Samsung phone in 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 the uh, in the headset and they're getting a much more of a full experience, much uh, more interesting experience than they would normally, is that right? Yes, exactly. The best way to experience our content is to use this kind of VR device. But actually, even if stu students don't have VR devices, they can use just mobile phone, tablet, that kind of things, because all of our contents are comfortable to any devices. But it is the best way to use the, this VR device. And how has it been going so far? How, how has the rollout gone so far? Uh, so far, we've been uh, providing this contents to like 74 schools and some learning centers and some local communities in Korea. And uh, also, we've done some pilot classes in Vietnam as well. And what's the uh, response been like here at ITU Telecom World? I know you've also been uh, involved here with the, uh, the, the awards too. You've also been pitching to uh, uh, CEOs and, uh, and other members, uh, key members of industry. What's it been like? Uh, it was actually, I'm kind of very nervous in front of many juries in the SMU Awards, but it was really, uh, I'm really honored to be presenting in front of them. And it was really glad to that we can introduce our contents in South Africa and other countries in Africa continents. So you'd recommend uh, coming here to uh, ITU Telecom World? Yeah, of course. It was really great chance to be here and to introduce some, some services and contents in other country. It was really great chance. Have you got a message for participants here at ITU Telecom World and also uh, around the globe? Yeah, I kind of we got so many. Yeah, many uh, we got we met many partners in here from Africa and near countries near around here. So we'd like to come to again to get to expand our business again. Great, that's wonderful. I'm just also going to now turn to uh, uh, somebody else who's also on the pavilion, uh, Ms. Sujiong Park, who is a manager for iCube. And um, you perhaps uh, will get uh, uh, Ms. Park here to tell us a little bit about what iCube is all about. Uh, okay, iCube is an IT solution company. We are making uh, hospital systems and the solutions between doctors and patients and hospitals. And today in ITU Telecom World, we displayed this special platform, uh, which is the digital patient educating platform for doctors. Uh, uh, we have many contents ready-made by the doctors in Korea, so uh, whoever wants to use it, uh, all they have to do is just downloading the apps from the app stores. So you're really enhancing the patient-doctor uh, experience, is that right? Yes, right. Uh, patients do not remember all the things when they meet the patient uh, doctors in the doctor's office. So we want to help those doctors and patients to communicate to each other with the digital system. And uh, how has it go gone so far? Uh, it, it's good. Actually, my boss is 
a current doctor in Korea, so he's working with his, his hospital. And here uh, we have found lots of partners to uh, want to work with us. So maybe it's going to be a, a huge business in Africa as well. So the response has been good here at ITU Telecom World? Yes, right. And uh, as I know, the healthcare rebel of the Africa is not that good so far. So uh, we are very responsible for that. So we, have, we are very interested in introducing our system to here to um, advance uh, the system of the healthcare here. How has the experience been here at ITU Telecom World for you and being part of the awards program as well? Um, uh, okay, it's very honor for me as because we are a uh, so small company, but we have lots of potential. And I saw a lot of companies like us uh, in here. So we would like to come here every year if we can have a chance. Uh, we'd like to uh, grab all the IT systems in here to cooperating with. And there are too many festivals and too many ceremonies that we can have fun together. It is very good. That's wonderful. Well, thank you both very much uh, for uh, joining us uh, on uh, the ITU YouTube channel. There will also be a podcast on the ITU SoundCloud channel too. And we wish you the very best of luck uh, with your projects in the future and hope to catch up with you again at some stage.